Hello, I'm Joe McCarthy, Technical Evangelist for Catchpoint, and in this video, I'll show how Catchpoint solutions can quickly identify exactly where degradation is occurring with those tricky network performance issues that harm the digital experience for your customers and end users. As you can see, Catchpoint controls the world's largest independently owned DEM monitoring network. With over 800 monitoring points, or as we call them nodes, distributed around the globe. We're uniquely positioned to reduce monitoring blind spots that hamper many of our competitors by providing a range of node types, and these include Backbone, which are the core ISPs, Last Mile, this is ISP to a remote office, office, or home, Wireless, this covers the 3G and 4G antennas, Enterprise, which is monitoring internal performance per company, in cloud, where we have presence in all the major cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and Google. In this scenario, the user's responsibility is for monitoring the content delivery network, sometimes referred to as the CDN, for North America. In my main dashboard, I can quickly see that out of the four CDN servers, CDN1 is showing poor performance along with some downtime. To investigate CDN1 in more depth, I'll launch into SmartBoard. So I can see that CDN1 is showing some downtime, and the overall CDN tests are taking over 380 milliseconds, with a good chunk of that time coming from DNS lookups, as opposed to wait time, which is the CDN server response time, which is looking okay, and the connect time, which would identify a possible network issue, but it too is looking good. So this is looking more and more like it's a DNS specific issue. Armed with that information, I know where to focus my attention. So I'll select DNS in the dashboard. So now all metrics in this dashboard will be DNS specific. So now that I'm focused on DNS traffic as designated by the DNS in this tab, I can scroll through the screen to get more information about DNS and in my environment. I can see how each of the cities are working, IP addresses, even ISPs. So if I want to filter worst to best, simply click on DNS metric that shows best to worst, click on it again, and I'm showing Honolulu is showing the largest DNS uh, time frame. Now keep in mind, this is averaged material, averaged metrics. So that's what this line chart is showing. I want to see specific transactions for each DNS query. So to do that, I can simply select scatter plot. This view shows every DNS lookup. So I can see any outliers and get a true sense of how things are performing. I can clearly see there are many DNS lookups taking between two and six seconds to complete. That's not very good. And because I know that the network connection time and CDN servers are performing fine, it does look like it's a regional DNS issue. So my next move is I want to look at the response times from my DNS servers. In this view, I'm showing specifically my DNS servers and any outliers that are happening. So I can see one of the servers is taking 1.5 seconds, another 800 milliseconds, right on up to 1.7 seconds. I'm even seeing where most of the transactions are taking between like 5 milliseconds up to about, about 200 milliseconds. So certainly something isn't performing as it should. To help identify which DNS servers are the problems, I can add another filter by simply going into this tab and click. I can do it by city, country, continent. I want to go by IP. I want to know the specific IP address. So I'll add that in. It's pretty clear that I have two DNS servers that are showing some pretty high response times. And when I put my cursor over those two, the 184.26, it highlights just those transactions that have happened, the DNS lookups, so I can see where they're happening at. When I go down to the next one, the purple, I can see exactly where they're at. So that's how I can help identify where do I need to focus my attention. From here, I want to dive deeper into each of these outliers. So I'll simply put my cursor over the, the worst one and I can see it's coming from Washington, D.C. From here, I can go down to the raw data measurement to dive in deeper to find out what's really going on. I've selected level one, which displays the top level domain information for this DNS server that services our CDN. And I can verify it's not an issue at this level as response times look very good. But when I select level two, I see that when you hit this particular DNS server, this is where the latency occurred. So I've narrowed the CDN performance issue down to two DNS servers 
that are causing the problems. No need to contact the network folks or our CDN providers. With Catchpoint Solutions, I was able to quickly identify degrading performance within a CDN, determine the cause was a local DNS issue, avoid wasting time contacting the network team or CDN providers, and get our CDN back up to speed fast. End user experience preserved. Thanks for watching. For more information on Catchpoint Solutions, please visit the link provided.